So, so we're looking at the proof of Pythagorean theorem. Um, to start off with, we must take into consideration the lemmata. Uh, there are four uh, lemmas we must take into consideration. And first, um, if uh, two triangles have two sides of the one equal to two sides of the other, each to each, and the angles included by those sides equal, then the triangles are congruent. Uh, the area of the triangle is half the area of any parallelogram on the same base and having uh, the same altitude. The third is the area of the rectangle is equal to the product of two adjacent sides. And the fourth, uh, the area of the square is equal to the product of two of its sides. And this follows from the previous one. Now the proof. Let ACB be a right-angled triangle with the right angle CAB. Let me see. CAB. On each side, on each of the sides, uh, BC, AB, and CA, squares are drawn. So there we go. Um, CBDE. Uh, B A G F and A C I H in that order. The construction of the squares requires the um, immediately preceding theorems in Euclid and depending upon the parallel postulate. From A, draw a line parallel to B D. Right. So from A, we will draw a line parallel to B D, and um, it will perpendicular. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, draw a line parallel to BD and CE, and it will perpendicularly intersect uh, BC and DE at uh, K and L, uh, respectively. Now we will join CF and AD to form the triangles uh, BCF and um, BDA. The angles uh, CAB and BAG are both right angles, therefore C, A, and G are collinear, uh, similarly for B, A, H. The angles C, B, D, and F, B, A are both uh, right angles, therefore the angle uh, A, B, D um, equals the angle for um, F, B, C, since both are the sum of uh, right angle and angle uh, A, B, and C. Since uh, AB is equal to FB and uh, BD is equal to BC, the triangle must be congruent to triangle uh, F, uh, FBC. Right? So we follow FBC. These uh, must be congruent. And uh, since AKL is a straight line parallel to BD, then the rectangle uh, BDLK has twice the area of the triangle ABD because they share the same base uh, BD, right? So it's comparing this one and this here. The um, and uh, a line normal to their common base connecting the parallel line uh, BD and AL, right? And uh, so it's BD and uh, AL. Um, since uh, C is uh, collinear with A and G, then uh, the square uh, B A um, B A G F um, must be twice the area of the triangle of uh, F B C, and uh, therefore the rectangle for uh, B uh, B D L K, which is this one down here, must have the same area as uh, the square B A G F. Now notice that, that what that means is that um, the area of this square right is a b squared right so which would be this distance here um, and since this is a square following from the previous lemma uh, the square uh, the area of a square is equal to the product of two of its sides right so a b squared and um, here uh, we've represented that by drawing uh, the area. Of uh, for uh, for this uh, square uh, BDLK um, in the same color as uh, the square BAGF, 
and um, similarly the same can be shown for the rectangle uh, C uh, for the rectangle CKLE uh, must have the same uh, area as uh, ACIH which is uh, AC squared right AC squared and um, by adding these two results we have a uh, we have a b squared plus c uh, a c squared right i'll put the letters back on here so we have a b squared and a c squared uh, will give you uh, the product of uh, bd times uh, bk plus uh, kl times kc Right. And if we were to uh, continue from there, then since BD is equal to KL, right, since BD is equal to KL, uh, we can uh, rewrite that and say that uh, BD times uh, uh, BK plus uh, KL uh, times KC would also be, uh, could be written as uh, BD, um, the product of the quantity of the sum of BK and KC and that would be equal to BD times uh, BC and therefore AB squared plus AC squared equals BC squared since uh, CBD is a square and um, to to put this a little bit into a different perspective or the equation that most of us are, are more familiar with I have uh, I've um, singled out right the side a here and I've highlighted it as well a and uh, we since this is a square right these uh, sides are of equal length so a and a and the area of this red square is denoted by a squared here we have the blue side and that's b and b times b the area of that square is b squared and here I've uh, underlined or um, highlighted C, the length C, which would be the hypotenuse of our triangle. And um, here we see C times C, right? And um, graphically, I've, I've represented this as A squared plus um, the B squared, right? And uh, the, the red side represents the area of A, and the blue side represents the uh, area of B uh, squared. Right, so it's a squared plus b squared gives us c squared.